Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I am adding this new snap-on pry bar to my collection. This is the MPB S1140A, uh, and there's an orange designation, which is the O at the end, but it only comes in orange, so you don't really need that. But what this is is a 40-degree break, 40-degree bending brake tool. Um, as you can see, there's a pretty substantial band. It's essentially the same as one of these uh, traditional 12-inch um, ones, kind of their, their striking pry bars, except it's got a bent tip on it, and it's not flared near as much. And the reason I got this is because a lot of times I use a larger pry bar in order to get enough of a bend. Sure, you can try to prop it up on something to get more, but like if I'm leveling an appliance, you know, or, or need to uh, bend a piece of metal that's stuck up under something. Um, it's a whole lot easier just to have something, you know, that's designed a little more for um, that environment, which this particular thing is. Um, I have used this. This is an old school snap-on. This is the B3404. Um, it is a brake wrench, brake adjusting wrench, but as you can see, it's got uh, concavity on both sides. This one, however, uh, looks like they had a nice, beautiful tip and then they ground it off. In fact, I'm not even sure it's straight, but I guess that doesn't really matter because um, I'm going to grind it down to fit a little bit more of this profile because that seems to be you know, a nice working one. Um, and as you know, I, when I made this one, I, you know, explored that bend. There seemed to be some really, I don't know if it's magical in this case, but a really uh, optimal bend. However, going up to this level, this is a 40 degree bend, or actually what I discovered is another um, instance of shrinkflation here. If I throw this on here, I've got 37.7. Uh, 0.6. If I throw this little uh, Klein level here, I've got 0.1. That's because this has got an indentation to keep it from rolling off a table. But what I can do is zero it. There it zeroed. Come on, stay zeroed. Is it going to go zero? There we go. And then move that up here. And you can see I'm at about 38. So I've lost two degrees 37.9 due to shrinkflation, which is kind of sad. I want my four, full 40 degrees. Oh well. But anyway, I've added this. These are about 50 bucks, which is a lot, um, you know, compared to traditional pry bars. You know, it might be 10 bucks more. Um, however, that st uses the standard 3 8 inch steel stock. Very strong. It's actually a little narrower there. I'm going to reprofile the head. As you can see, they just... You know, probably had a beautiful head and then just stuck it in a grinder to, to I don't know why. You brake people can probably tell me why they would not want you to have a nice clean edge on that. But anyway, I don't know how the uh, striking side is going to work very well at this angle, but it might. It seems like almost you need that knob on the end to strike it in if you're trying to wedge something. But I really like the different pry bars, and sometimes i found that I end up using my adjustable pry bars at a very similar angle, as you can see, you know, which is why we have the adjustable ones. Uh, and I find that this just isn't near enough. This is, I don't know, 80 degrees or something. Um, so it can be not near enough or way too much, depending on what you're doing. So I think this is going to be um, a heavy use tool. One of these that's going to uh, find its way into everything I do just because it's a good size. It's a good band. I like the extended reach. That's another thing on the longer ones. If I go out to two feet or even three feet, you get much more working space in this end. But of course, you've got this huge shaft and a lot of times you don't need that. You just need a little bit, um, you know, so I end up stacking stuff up underneath here trying to get that angle and kind of a pain. But anyway, there it is. Uh, it's a very specific use snap-on tool, uh, the MPB S1140, but uh, I think it really deserves a home in everyday tool chest use. And with that, Doc out.